Hello everyone. Today we will discuss about tetanus neonatorum. Tetanus neonatorum is also known as neonatal tetanus. Tetanus neonatorum means that the neonate has developed tetanus within the first 28 days of his life and it is one of the major cause of infant mortality in underdeveloped countries. Tetanus is caused by Clostridium tetany and it is a toxin producing bacteria. It has a drumstick appearance. It is gram positive. Gram positive means it have a thick peptidoglycan covering and anaerobic. Anaerobic means it cannot grow in presence of oxygen. It grows best between 33 to 37 degrees centigrade. Soil and dust are its best reservoir and it is a non-communicable disease. The toxin produced by Clostridium tetany is tetanospasmin and it is a lethal toxin. Lethal means it can cause death. And 0.1 mg of tetanospasmin is enough to kill a 70 kg man. And males are more sensitive to tetanospasmin than females. That's why tetanus is more often seen in men than in women. So, let's study. What happens when Clostridium tetany bacteria enters our body? After entering our body, it releases tetanospasmin. Tetanospasmin goes to our brain and block the function of inhibitory neurotransmitter. In our brain, there are two types of neurotransmitters are present, inhibitory and excitatory. The function of inhibitory neurotransmitter is to inhibit the excitation of excitatory neurotransmitter. So when inhibitory neurotransmitters are blocked, then there we can see continuous stimulation of excitatory neurotransmitter which is causing continuous spasm. What are the risk factors? For a neonate to develop neonatal tetanus, unsterile division of umbilical cord. If the umbilical cord has been cut with any unsterile instrument or if the mother is unamenized. Unhygienic birth attendants, application of dust, ash, animal dung to the umbilical wound or unhygienic place of birth. What are the clinical manifestations of neonatal tetanus? During the first two days of life, the neonate has normal ability to suck and cry. But between 3rd to 28th day, the neonate cannot suck normally and it has become stiff. Convulsions and excessive cry are also present. Most of the cases of tetanus neonatorum, the symptoms are seen on 8th day or after the first week. Therefore, it is also known as 8th day disease. The symptoms are muscle rigidity, irritability, dysphagia, restlessness, facial grimacing, muscle spasm, poor suck reflex, spasm of respiratory muscle and larynx can lead to respiratory failure which can further lead to death. There is a triad which can be seen in all cases of tetanus in both neonates and in adults. And this triad goes in a descending pattern. First, 
there we can see rhesus sardonicus in this a grin is present on the face and the grin is caused by facial muscle spasm after rhesus sardonicus we can see prismus prismus means lockjaw it can be from mild to severe there is spasm of the lower jaw after trismus we can see opisthotonus opisthotonus means arching of the back and there is severe and simultaneous spasm of all the muscles elimination of maternal and neonatal tetanus it means less than one case per 1000 live births and due to vaccination coverage maternal and neonatal tetanus elimination has been validated in india in may 2015 by who nagaland was the last state to achieve mnt the diagnosis of tetanus neonatorum is based on clinical findings maternal immunization history and the risk factors differential diagnosis of tetanus neonatorum are sepsis meningitis neonatal convulsion and hypoxic ischemic encephalopathy the prognosis is very poor because in most of the cases it causes death of the neonate homeopathic management for tetanus neonatorum phytostigma when there is alternate dilatation and contraction of pupils hypericum it is prescribed when there is trismus due to any injury pessiflora it is given if tetanus is developed in any hot country or in any hot climate and spasm are also present cuprum metallicum it is prescribed when the child or when the neonate is having pale face opisthotonus and spasm are also present stramonium when there is tetanic convulsion and spasm of glottis and chest are present in the neonate and they are worse from light and touch so this was all for tetanus neonatorum thank you